So I am the oldest volunteer substitute, longest, oldest uh, volunteer substitute teacher that they had. All the children love her. It has really convinced us that Yeshiva Day School is the future of our children. Not only of Las Vegas, but I don't think parents, grandparents realize it's not just the education, it's the community that they're part of. It's the ideas and the traditions everything that they're instilled and involved with. I have to tell you a story. One, one year I was subbing for the kindergarten and we were downstairs playing in the sandbox. And this little girl made a pie for one of the boys in the class. And he said to her, I can't eat it. I don't know if it's parv. I had meat for dinner. I was felling. I couldn't believe that this little kindergartner had this in his mind, that this was so ingrained in him, that even in play, it is carried on. And who knows, maybe he'll be a rabbi when he grows up, you know. But um, actually, <laughs> more than we have given, we have gotten back. The thing that I like about the children the big ones take care of the little ones, and they care about each other, and, and it crosses the age lines, and I think that's just marvelous. I, I see these children growing into menches. But the I dedication mean, of the leadership is, yeah. is incredible. I mean, Rabbi's Goldman and, and Katz particularly, <laughs> these are not jobs for them. These are, this is their lives, and. Their dedication is remarkable. I, I first want to say that I'm incredibly proud of my mother and father. They are incredible givers. Um, we've been around since the school's beginning, and I know that my mother has done a lot of work on the volunteer level, and we're very proud of her. We did not like being honored. Um, we didn't want to be honored. I like to be honored. <laughs> but um, when Rabbi Katz came to us and said, you don't have children, you don't have grandchildren in, in the school. school. Um, you don't have a best friend whose child is in the school. Um, but yet since 2007, you have been volunteered to be a substitute teacher. We want people to know that this helps the children. It really does. Um, you could come in and teach a class. You could teach the girls to knit. I mean, whatever it would happen to be that you have, it is so important to round out the community and their education. It's just, we have to nurture our children. And I think this is the best way we can. It's like watering them with it, with Jewish knowledge, a little bit at a time. You should know before we started, she said, I don't know what we're going to say. When you first meet the Levies, your impression is that they must have grandchildren at the Yeshiva Day School. They've always advocated for the school, they've always volunteered to help in the school, whether it's judging Hanukkah menorah contests, or Mrs. Levy subbing for a teacher who's out for the day, or Mr. Levy with his financial accountability, always encouraging us to do the right thing for the school. Mazel tov Howard and Susan Levy on this well-deserved honor. On a personal note, Mrs. Levy, I have to personally thank you for all the times that I'm able to call you at 7.30 in the morning and tell you and ask of you to come and sub. Most adults are afraid to walk into a classroom as a teacher, let alone unprepared. And you do it so willingly, so happily, it's because you, Susan, and Howard, both of you, you love the children, and as you said before, there's nothing more precious 
than Jewish children learning in a Jewish school. Thank you so much.